everyone. Welcome to Region Amit TV Studio. I have with me Mohammed from Circle A, who is the CEO of Circle K, discussing with us this afternoon about the expansion plans of the brand and how they have grown so far. I am really excited to know more. So welcome, Mohammed, with us. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the milestones that you have traversed this year. How far have you come, and what what all have you done? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, so I'll give you a little bit of background into Circle K, uh, who we are. Um, so Circle K is the second largest convenience and fuel retailer uh, across the world. Uh, globally, we have presence across majority of the markets, uh, such as US, Canada, Europe, uh, Asia, as well as MENA as well. Uh, so we relaunched uh, the brand a year ago uh, with a renewed vision in this market. um and our plan and our strategy and vision uh was to be aligned with vision 2030 uh and play our role to transform the convenience uh, sector as well as the fuel sector uh we feel that the the saudi market in particular is going through very exciting transformation and evolution um and what's more exciting than the the economical transformation is the transformation that is also taking place within the the consumers as well um the consumers obviously are driving uh this evolution in the market uh and we want to be obviously you know uh be aligned with them and create a business which is a people centric business um and where the decisions and the strategy is actually coming from the stores rather than obviously us making them at the boardroom and then obviously in launching our business uh so in terms of our milestones that we have achieved uh we activated Saudi Arabia and UAE market um this year so currently as we speak we have 27 stores uh operational between both markets uh we have another 10 stores uh which are in the pipeline in the construction phase um and we have an extensive pipeline to obviously further grow in 2024 so on and so forth uh so our plans are very aggressive um we want to make sure that we play our small role um in the marketplace to assist obviously the consumers as well as vision 2030 but circle okay, k you you're talking about stores uh, do you also sell online uh, what is the plan yeah sure so at the moment as we speak uh, we have brick and mortar space uh, majority of our stores uh, are in a very diversified portfolio some of our stores are within uh, fuel station space uh, which is what circle k is known for globally uh some of our stores are within hospitals some of the stores are in universities office towers residential towers and our strategy is that we want to reach our consumers if they can't reach us we will reach our consumers and this is pretty much embedded within our omni channel strategy uh so our um, mobile app is in development phase at the moment which will be launched very soon um and then very soon we will be launching our only channel uh, presence in the market uh, which will have um, different options available to our customers to click and collect uh, to have a complete online uh, delivery of their products delivered to their workplace as well as to their homes as well as we are very interested in working with the third party uh, partners uh, such as Talaba such as Insta shop um, to have the overall e-commerce uh, presence in the market correct But this this plan is for next year, or are you going to slowly build it? Build so we we already are in the in the development phase. Uh, we are conducting pilots at the moment. Uh, we have already done a pilot uh, both in Saudi and UAE market. Uh, we had some really interesting uh, results off the back of the pilot. Uh, the customer insights that we have managed to gather uh, from the pilots are very useful. Useful, um, and again, these insights uh, we are taking them back to the drawing board. and then obviously you know redefining our strategy which is in line with what exactly our customers are looking for just to give you an example uh we have inside our stores not only grocery section but we also have a very strong food and beverage destination inside our stores as well and our play is our vision is that when customers come to a store they enjoy the shopping experience as opposed to going to an old school traditional bakala where there is very less interaction between the staff and the customers there is very less interaction between the product and the customer 
and there is no real customer journey. Whereas what we're trying to build is um, having um, a service which is a five-star delivery of exceptional customer service. Uh, we're putting operational excellence at the core of everything that we do, the way we're designing our store formats, the way we are designing our whole digital pl strategy for the stores to guide the customer journey. Everything is linked to how we are going to obviously uh, provide our services and products to the customers. So we provide food, we provide coffee, uh, which is as good as any mainstream cafe. Um, and we are constantly evolving in that space. Uh, we want to be a destination for customers where they can come, they can have a really good experience. If they want to go on the laptop, they want to obviously you know, attend their online meetings, we provide that space to them. And by the way, before they leave the store, if they receive a message from the missus that they need to pick a few items, they can pick up from the grocery section as well. So that's the summary. That's a very short convenience. Convenience. That's right. Yeah. Uh, does price also play a factor for you? Like when curating products, do you also keep a price bracket in mind and uh, observe that so that it is pocket friendly also for the customers? Yeah, for sure. So uh, what we have realized is um, all the Saudi and UAE market are expanding and growing. Uh, the GDP of both economies are in a very good place at the moment. Still, there is a huge appetite in the market to have price consciousness towards, obviously, what consumers buy. Um, we, we are very much mindful of the fact that the market is dominated by the Gen Zs, the youth. Uh, more than 60% of the population in Saudi is below the bracket of 40 years and below. Um, and we understand, obviously, the choices are more than ever before. So... Our strategy is to be price competitive um, so that we give, obviously, the, the added value along with the price proposition. Uh, we don't just become a cheap player. We obviously give a good value service. And along with that, there is more added value service player that we have that obviously they can enjoy uh, a really good organic healthy food meal as opposed to going to a conventional convenience store, very quickly pick up a sandwich that might be cheap and will not have good ingredients inside. Uh, we are coming up with research-driven food menu, which will be all organic, uh, healthy meals, low calories, which is in line with what is in demand in the market. Uh, and the drinks are designed in a similar manner as well. Uh, so yes, price has been uh, a key component in terms of how we are positioning our product. Right. Uh, Lastly, sustainability has been a big talking point for yeah. the entire retail fraternity. So any special uh, plans that you have in this direction or probably you are running some program which helps you talk sustainable? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, like, like you rightly said, sustainability um, uh, is a very important, obviously, uh, subject and, and, and a focus point for ourselves as a business. Uh, so recently uh, we launched um, paper uh, bags um, we, we did a pilot where we completely went against having plastic carrier bags and we launched our paper bags. So that was the first initiative that we launched. Um, and over the next few months, we are launching a series of different um, environment-friendly solutions that we are going to offer um, to save the energy. Uh, we'll be launching cage-free eggs. Um, the meat that we are using in our food uh, is all being grass-fed. Uh, and obviously the cattle's we are sourcing the meat from, uh, they have a strict guidelines to obviously breed the cattle um, in the right manner. Uh, so yes, it's at the core of everything that we do. Uh, and that's something obviously, you know, we are progressing to, to definitely take it more seriously. Amazing. Uh, thank you so much for thank joining much. and all the best with all your expansion plans. Thank you. Hope to see you in 2024 with a lot of new uh, plans. Definitely. Successes. Definitely. Yeah? Thank you very thank much you. for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.